Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the KFX YouTube channel and welcome back to a new video. Today's video is gonna be a bit different. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm finally on camera. Um, it's taken me, you know, a good couple months to do this, but I've just been putting it off and, you know, excuses and stuff. But um, the last couple weeks, I've bought a bunch of equipment and yeah, I'm taking a jump. So here I am in front of the camera talking to you guys. Over the next couple of weeks and months, the content on my channel is gonna be changing to more like lifestyle content, like what I get up to day to day. Obviously I don't just do FX, I have other, other stuff that I'm doing in the background and I kinda of wanna show you behind the scenes of what I get up to. It's not just our FX chart work. I wanna show you just what I get up to uh, in general really. In the coming months I'm moving to a new office, big office. I'm gonna be expanding my team, so I'm gonna be bringing people on board. So there's a lot of stuff that's gonna be going on and I thought it would be cool uh, to kind of record the journey. So like moving out of this office into a new office to bigger office. Um, some other stuff which I can't actually give away right now, but that's gonna be happening and it's gonna be really exciting to kind of show you the progression of this business from you know March 31st when I launched it to you know today, so it's just over six months. In the next couple months, uh, you know, three, four months time, I'm gonna be releasing my KFX course, which is literally gonna be like, ch it'll change the game for everyone, because it's gonna be affordable, and it's gonna have everything you need. It's gonna have all my knowledge in one in one course for you guys to take on, and you know, you guys can really, you know, utilize it and take your training to the next level, because I obviously have a member zone where I give out, you know, loads of my like week analysis, trade ideas, all that good stuff, and that, I'd say that's a, a kind of a level here, but the course is really gonna take you up to the level where I am, okay? The membership zone is really good if you want to make some money, kind of, uh, you know, with the trade ideas that I give out with the analysis. But if you want to become the master, so if you want to, become, so if you want to become the person who like, calls the shots, then you want to be, you want to be educating yourself and buying that. Yeah, it's obviously it's an investment in yourself. I've bought about, you know, it was eight to ten courses when I was learning and that cost me nearly near enough 8,000 pounds. I'm putting all those 10 courses of what I've taken, which I thought was really useful, I'm putting it into one course for you know an eighth of the price. If you see it as an investment yourself and you see it as in, you know, this is gonna take you to the next level, then that is how you know, you're gonna become like me and make, make consistent money with a, a strategy that works and it's proven. I've proven it, you know, going on the Trading Nut podcast, you know, you, you saw my, uh, my, MT4 statement, all that good stuff. And if you haven't checked that out, go check it out. Um, as it, it would be a good watch for you to see kind of what I do. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Um, it's just gonna be a quick video, your Sniper Sunday's video, but I thought I'd do an introduction, kind of seeing the setup and all that good stuff. But yes, yeah, it's just gonna be over going over two pairs, giving you some analysis. But for the coming weeks and months, my, my kind of channel is gonna be completely changing. It's gonna be, you know, vlogs, day in the lives, lifestyle, all this good stuff. I don't want to give it too much away right now, but I'm just saying, if you are new here, do subscribe, and if you like the video, drop it a like uh, and leave a comment. You know, let me let me know what you want to see in the description in the comments. Let me know if you want to see, you know, cars. If you want to see, you know, holidays, because I'm planning all this stuff to be, uh, you know, all this stuff that's coming. Hopefully, COVID doesn't, you know, mess it up, but um, we'll wait and see. So yeah, let's get straight into this video. There's two pairs I'm looking at right now. Um, which, well, I'm going to give to you guys uh, GBP NZD and USD JPY. I gave out about, I think it was like six or seven pairs to the member zone. These two pairs I'm giving you just because I think they're, you know, two decent pairs. Um, if you do want the full, obviously the full video, just DM me on Instagram, kane.fernando or kane, uh, kfx with three underscores, uh, and I can send you the details on how to join. As I've said before, there is a limited, there is limit on numbers. I'd act soon, sooner rather than later. So yeah, the two trades I'm looking at um, for you guys is GBP NZD uh, and USD JPY. So currently it's making uh, lower highs and lower lows. So for me right now, I'm looking for a sell. Um, this is my analysis um, and let me just basically clear it up for you and explain how I got it. So the first thing we do is we get our trend line. You know, you could start from up here, but I don't think that fits very nicely. So I'm start. I'm gonna be starting it from here. Okay, one touch there, two touch there. So one touch there, two touch there. Looking for the third touch. The next thing we do is we get our Fibonacci tool and we place it from the last significant high to last significant low, which is there to there. Because you can see this is where it finished. Okay, I can see that there's structure. So there's previous um, support, 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 resistance. Uh, acting resistance again, so that's structure, so that's what another confidence that I look for. So I can put that all the way along just so it's a bit more clearer for us to see. 
It's obviously a short position, so put your short position tool on. Right, so right now I can see that there's quite a few confluences and I'm gonna explain these to you. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm seeing right now. It's a short position. So what do we have? What do we have in line here? We have the psych level just above, which is 1.94. So that is there as well. We, so we've got psych level structure. We have eight hour EMA, which is also in play, which I'll explain in a second. We have um, you know this liquidity zone also. So you've got many confluences and the golden fib zone. So like four or five confluences right now. So with the EMA, people ask me, well, I don't understand the EMA. Basically, the EMA is dynamic support resistance. So what's a dynamic support resistance? Basically what it is, it's a moving support or resistance. So here I can see it was acting as a moving resistance. It came up to it, came up to it, uh, resistance, came up resistance, came up resistance. So every time it came near it, it, came, it went straight back down. So um, I can see here that it acted as resistance once again. Here, it came up to it, broke down, came up to it, broke down. So Mo probability dictates to me that if this comes up again to the EMA, it's going to have a sell-off again. So just by looking at the patterns of the charts, I can kind of read and tell what's going to happen. And that's basically just from my you know, four years of doing this, I can basically read the chart and be like, okay, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. And I can utilize that and I can utilize my knowledge and basically make money off it. So right now I'm seeing this is what I'm seeing, this is what I'm gonna wait for. If I can see this retracement into our pink zone up here, yeah, into the psych level, into this golden fib zone, into the EMA and reject, then and only then will I be looking for a short position all the way to the downside uh, to the minus 61.8. And that is a 3.86 ratio, or 3.66 ratio, sorry, and a 618 pip move to the downside. So it's looking quite good, you know, we just need to see that, that um, you know, push up, uh, push to the upside, um, and then I'll be looking for three, four-hour ejections from our zone. Okay, so I'm not actually going to give out how I f how I figure this out because. I don't want to, it's all for my members, you know, they get the exclusive content. But yeah, I'm looking for three, four hour ejections um, before I take an entry here. So let's say price pushes up here on Wednesday and then just keeps pushing up, keeps pushing up. The trade's invalid, okay? It will be invalid because it didn't have the correct rejection I look for. So if you don't know what rejection is, you need to go learn what that is first, it's, it's pretty simple. So go learn what rejection is and then all I'm saying is you want to see three, so let's say three, sh three shooting stars, three dojis, three spending tops, or you know a mixed match of all of them, and then I'll be looking for that sell off to the downside. So if and only if I see those three rejections will I be entering this pair. You know if there's only two and then it and then it pushes up the upside, it's not I'm not in it. So you know you need to be you need to be on the ball. You need to be waiting for those rejections. Set your alerts. You know I really recommend um, having. Um, Trading View Pro, so you can set your alerts. So, like for me, I could just set an alert like here and add alert. And basically, when price comes up here, it triggers it. I can just come to my chart and be like, okay, cool. If I'm waiting for three, four hour ejections, that's 12 hours. X, Y, Z, and then you can you can enter. So it's so much easier. You don't have to sit in front of the charts all day. I hate doing that. I don't do it anymore. I used to do it. Um, but yeah, if you do want to, um, you know, get the pro versions, it's be, uh, the link will be in the description. So just check that out. I would highly recommend it. Um, you know, you get like 10 alerts, which is like pretty. It's quite a lot, or it's, it's enough. You know, it depends what, how you trade. Um, but you know, you can get Trading View. I think it's Trading View. Pro Plus or something, which is like 25 alerts or something, but you know, it's up to you how much money you want to spend. So yeah, basically what I'm saying is I want to see the retracement into our golden zone, okay, into this pink zone here, into golden zone, psych level 1.94, the structure point as well, and then obviously the eight hour EMA, and then we'll see counter rejection, so that's five five reasons to take a trade here. So yeah, that's G G U P N Z D, uh, and obviously I'll be updating this for my guys. I do daily updates and stuff in my group, so you know, when it comes to this zone, you know when it um you know they'll they'll kind of know and yeah we'll take it together so djpy okay this is what i like this pair a lot i trade it quite often um i said to the guys um i might release a little clip actually on on my instagram but basically in, in like two weeks ago i gave out to the guys i was like yeah i'm, I'm basically predicting a sell-off on usd jpy why is that because it's been all these daily rejections off the ema okay I would tell us every single time that one, two, three perfect rejections here, and then what happened? This is telling you that it wants to do this, okay? So when you see 
something reject an EMA and it can't push any higher, this basically means it's going to go the opposite way. And how can I tell? How can I tell that that is the case? Because you know, if you just go back in time and and, and read uh, and you back test the strategy, you know, even over here. You know, see all these rejections, all these rejections off the EMA, and then what happens? Boom, sell off. It came back up and a massive sell off again. So you can look at the patterns in the chart and basically predict what's going to happen. Okay, so that's how I can basically, you know, 80% 80, 80 of the time I'm right because I can predict correctly what's going to happen. Obviously, you're not always going to be right because, you know, some new, big news announcement might come out which might mess up something. But, you know, overall, you know, it, as long as your R to R is there, it doesn't matter how many. You know, if, if you're 50 percent, you know, you're right 50 percent of the time. If you're, if you're, if your R to R is there, it doesn't matter. So, like last week, uh, me and my teammate Cad JPY, we made three percent on that off one trade, and that's it. Happy days, weeks paid for three percent. Happy days, no losses, and that's what that's what you want. So, I even gave that out in my in my last YouTube video. So, go check that out if you haven't watched it. But for this for this pair, okay, first thing we do is we got our trend line. So I can see it's one touch here, two touch there cool next thing I do next thing I do is I get the uh, Fibonacci so I can see this to me is the last significant high here it's the last significant low okay boom next thing I do is I get the uh, horizontal line stick it you know is there is there a psych level in between our golden zone that is what you got to look for yes there is okay just there 105 500 is right there so basically to me that that's perfect because you have a psych level in line with structure because look previous support 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 and now we're going to be acting as resistance so uh, some some resistance over here as well so this you can this goes all the way back in time to you know march okay so that's looking nice um and then you know our short position so that is a five ratio with our, st our stops just above 100% level to give it enough room to breathe. And yes, yeah, so we have descending trend line. We have daily EMA, which I want to see a rejection of. Why is it I want to see the rejection of the daily? Because previously, what has happened? Price came up here and rejected the daily EMA and then had a sell off. So, you know, you can you can already know what I'm going to say. I'm waiting for you know that to occur again because it's just patterns. It, it's that simple. Like genuinely, people make trading so hard. It is not hard if you know what you're doing. Okay. This is what I mean by, you know, you need to correct education, you need to correct, you know, knowledge. Because I've back tested this, you know, thousand, you know, 10,000 hours, genuinely. I've, I've been doing this the last four years, every day of my life. So you've got to think, I know what's going to happen because I've practiced this enough. Okay, I've refined this to the point where it just, it just works and I know what's going to happen. So basically, I'm waiting for the, day, the daily EMA to come in. So if you, think, if you look, at, look at it like this, you know, I'll wait for this to come down like this here. And if it, oh, that's a really bad line, but sorry. But basically, you get what I mean. You see the line coming up, you see the rejections of the line, and then that's basically telling you that it's gonna go like this. Imagine a roundabout, it's coming up, going like that, or like a hill, and you go over the hill, okay? That's what it's doing. It's making that hill to go down the hill. Hopefully you guys understand that um, analogy, but um, yeah, that's just me trying to explain it. But. You know, we have so we have descending trend line one, golden fib zone two, psych level 105, 500, three, structure four, daily EMA five, and candlestick rejection, which will be six. So, six reasons to take a trade here. So, it's not just oh, I take trades off support or just resistance or support or just structure or just an EMA or just the trend line. It's none of that. It's all together. You combine them. Six reasons. So, it's all of these together. So, we use confluences to basically aid us to take trades okay it's literally that simple you know if the, if the confluences aren't there i don't take the trade i leave it okay like if it's acting weird funny with the, the ema i don't take the trade so like this week there's not that many opportunities that I, I gave out um because i said to guys why would you want me to give bad um you know just force entries i don't do that the, the trades that i give out are high quality and i'm you know 100 percent sure of, of these trades i'm not going to give out you know f you know 20 trades and be like yeah this is the trade when I, i'm not confident in it i only give out the top quality trades because I know you know I'm not that's just I know that they're gonna play out or you know 80 80 85 percent sure they will so basically I'm looking for that re re uh, retracement into our goal uh, into the pink box zone to the pink zone waiting for you know three four hour eject three eight hour rejection sorry um, here from our region so you know a shooting star a doji and a spinning top and then I look for a sell for example 
If they don't occur and you only see two, it's invalid, okay? If you see two and then it pushes up, it's invalid. So make sure, wait for the correct rejection and then you look for the short. So this is a five ratio and a 220 pip move to the downside. So that is basically the video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed um, a bit of a different, it's a bit different because obviously you can see my face. Hopefully you guys liked it. Um, hopefully you guys like the setup I've got going on. There's not much really behind me, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so as I said, I'm moving to a big office in the coming weeks, so obviously that's gonna be recorded. Um, I've got my own editor now, I'm my own videographer, um, so hopefully he makes this video lit and he, you know, proper smashes out of the park. But yeah, my, the editing on, on my channel is gonna be, you know, really, really hot, top quality. He knows what he's doing. Um, so, you know, with all the stuff that I'm gonna be doing with all like the day in the life and all the stuff, you know, um, care effects, uh, trips abroad and stuff, it's gonna be it's gonna be top quality. So I'm really, really excited for the, ne the coming months, um, you know, coming into the end of this year and really the next, I'd say the next six to eight months is really gonna be, um, you know, a turning point, and I can't. I really can't wait to be honest with you. Uh, so far, it's just been me doing all this on my own. I've created everything you see before you, um, but now it's time to bring. It's start. It's time to start bringing people on to you know really expand this and take it to new levels. So I just want to thank you guys for supporting me, being here. Um, you know, subscribing. I do appreciate it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I never thought I'd be doing this kind of stuff. You know, YouTube is never was never really my scene. Um, but, you know, times change and, you know, you just got to adapt to it. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.